Well, a project to bring fusion energy from the sun to Earth is being developed. The ITER project could pave the way toward limitless clean energy, and General Atomics, based here in San Diego, is working to make that a reality. Here to tell us more about what's going on in France is General Atomics' Director of Magnetic Technology, John Smith. Good morning to you, John. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well. Thank you for asking. I can see I can see you're in the office this morning and <laughs> a lot of people know uh, of General Atomics and maybe they know about um, a little bit about fusion energy. But I, I wonder if you could basically explain uh, to our viewers what fusion energy is, why it's important and when we might be able to see it as a source of our energy. Sure. So fusion energy is uh, what the sun is. So the, the sun is a big fusion reactor, and what we're trying to do is recreate that sun here on Earth. The sun here on Earth happens a little more difficult, though, than the sun, because on the sun, you can take the hydrogen, push it together, or that's what happens. It gets pushed together. And here on Earth, we can't push it together quite as easily. So we have to raise the temperature, if you can believe that or not. So we're about 15 times hotter than the sun when we attempt fusion here on Earth. And um, we do that by containing that fusion reaction in a magnetic bottle so it doesn't touch anything when it's at 150 million degrees centigrade. I mean, it's just fascinating. And of course, it takes a lot of work. And there is a huge project happening uh, in France called the Eater Project. I hope I'm saying that right. I was Correct. reading that it, it means the way in Latin. So I am assuming that this is, uh, in, a, in a way, saying that this is the way that we could be getting sustainable energy. Can you tell us about the Eater Project, uh, what's going on in France, and how General Atomics is contributing? Sure. So the ITER project is a huge critical step towards getting towards fusion power. It's a, a combination of uh, many countries, seven different parties have joined it and 30 different nations all together. It's a, it's a very, very large scientific experiment that is uh, to show the basic fundamentals of fusion work and at a sustained level. So that's the, the critical part of it. Now, General Atomics is integrally involved in participating in the ITER project here at the facility I'm at we are making uh, one of the big magnet systems that help contain the plasma in a magnetic bottle. And we've been working on building these 250,000 pound magnets, we're making seven of them, to be shipped and then installed into the ITER device in France. GA also participates in other areas, uh, building other subsystems for the ITER project. I mean, it's fascinating. It's really going on right in our own backyard. And I don't know that too many San Diegans know that this is happening. So this is one of the biggest projects uh, in the country uh, to here to contribute to the ITER project in France. How do you see this panning out and fusion energy over the next 10, 50 years down the road? Do you think it's realistic that we are all, as a, a global society, going to be har harvesting this energy from the sun and, and getting our power that way? Well, we're not harvesting energy from the sun. We're recreating the sun recreating here Recreating the sun here. <laughs> no, Very I, hot. I, I, right. I believe it's 100% feasible. We're really move, moving towards that. It's a, either is a critical step. Then we'll have a, and that's starting, a plan to start operations in 2025. And they'll do some experiments there. And then in parallel, they'll build what they'll call a demonstration reactor after that. Um, and then we're ready to make power. So I think it's not only real, it's almost necessary in order to replace the carbon fuel today. It's a fusion is a limitless supply of energy that can sustain the world for centuries. Yeah, but when you talk about replacing, all, I mean, how long of a process do you realistically think that could be? Well, I think it's still a bit away. We have um, either device, which will start in 2025, as I mentioned, and then we'll have to build another one after that. And that could take, um, depending upon funding, funding is the critical aspect of it. Um, there's many new startups that are working in the nation um, on ways to develop fusion in a, in a different, slightly different way than what we're doing with the tokamak. But beyond that, we um, it's probably, 20 to 40 years, I think, before you would get finished with the demo reactor, and then we'd be off to uh, producing power. 
Well, I hope I hope to see it. Uh, this is very cool, and John, thank you, and and that it's happening here in our backyard, taking a big part in what's going on with the Cedar Project. So, thank you for joining us this morning. Appreciate the time. Mm -hmm. You bet. Thank you. Take care. All right. Well.